All right, uh, we got to talk about the draft here. We'll talk about the full Raw report here after a while. But uh, these are the picks from tonight. We went over the weekend picks yesterday, the SmackDown picks. So for uh, round one, Raw got Imperium, which was Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser. So, so Ludwig, Giovanni Ludwig. Vinci no longer listed as part of Imperium. Yeah, he's on SmackDown. He he's was. got moved, moved to SmackDown. But the, um, he did? Yeah, he did. Do we have a supplemental draft that you, I'm unaware of? Yes, we do. Do you want me to tell you about it? Well, let's do that at the end here. Okay. So Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser, uh, they're on Raw, which they were on already. And then we have Jade Cargill drafted to SmackDown, even though she was on SmackDown already. Um, I would presume Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair are winning the tag team titles. I would think that's a very good chance. Yeah, so they'll be on both brands anyway. So damage control has been moved to Raw. That is Io Dakota, Kyrie, and Asuka. Yeah, so that uh, that's a will, switch. That'll allow them to probably challenge on the Raw side, and uh, Io as an opponent for Becky Lynch. And then SmackDown drafted Kevin Owens to the SmackDown show that he was already on. He pretty much had to be because they has just announced a new segment on SmackDown, which is a Kevin Owens or Andy Orton um, interview segment which debuts on Friday, so and Randy Orton is on SmackDown, so it kind of guaranteed Kevin Owens staying on SmackDown. Second round, we had CM Punk drafted to Raw. And which, they, were, which, they were doing a storyline where uh, it, we, the, Drew McIntyre was outraged that he was drafted in the third round as opposed to CM Punk. But CM Punk should have been outraged that he was drafted after Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser. I suppose. I mean, I mean, he all... is a bigger star. Oh, he's a bigger star. But yes, but it's all like these. If, if you want to like and analyze these drafts, oh, I can. Like, I mean, it's like it's it's it, they're, they're, it's totally ludicrous. You know, I mean, and and you know, it's like again, like uh, CM Punk or or you know should should have been picked much higher. Drew McIntyre, how's he not a first round pick? I mean, that's ridiculous. Well, that is the storyline here. Yeah. SmackDown, uh, Raw, by the way, uh, CM Punk was Raw to Raw. SmackDown gets the Pride, Lashley, Angelo. They were on SmackDown anyway, so they're staying. Raw got the returning Braun Strowman, who we'll talk about, actually appeared on the show. Yeah, so the, the, he's going to be up there with Jey Uso as the top baby, one of the top as the top baby face. And then SmackDown got Tiffany Stratton, who was already on SmackDown. Yeah. Round three, Raw got the LWO, Ray, Cruz, Joaquin, Zelina, Dragon Lee. And even though Imperium did not get Ludwig Kaiser because he broke up with them, Gio, Carlito, Vinci, Vinci, Vinci. Vinci, Carlito did break up with the LWO, but he got drafted with them anyway. Yeah, well, that was already on the list. You know, I mean, that was already when they made all the lists of, of, of all the things, he was on the list. Well, they would have made the list when, when Giovanni Vinci was on the list as well. No. Both Giovanni of these Vinci. splits were last week. Giovanni, Giovanni Vinci was not on the list. They put out a list last week, and Giovanni Vinci was not on it with, with Well, Imperium. the point is it doesn't make any sense that you've got two groups. One of them oh. had a breakup. The other had a breakup. And in one breakup, the guy's going. And the other breakup, the guy's not. But the breakup was on Monday, and the list came out on Thursday, and the other breakup was on Friday. Eh, that's ridiculous. Well, no, it's not. It's actually, actually, it's not. When the day the list came out of everything, it made sense. I mean, it's just, it it did make sense on the day the the thing came out. You know, you can change the list after the guy breaks up on Friday for a Monday draft. You you could, but they didn't. I mean, we're going to talk about ridiculous here? Well, look, it's all ridiculous, but, but in this case, on the day the list came out, it wasn't ridiculous. Santos, Umberto, Angel, and Electra have gone from SmackDown to SmackDown. They remain yeah. there. Drew has been drafted from Raw to Raw. And uh, Shinsuke Nakamura is going to SmackDown. So that's a change. And then for the uh, final round, uh, Judgment Day is uh, drafted from Raw to Raw. And, of course, uh, Priest could not be drafted, but they're all still together. SmackDown gets Naomi, who was already on SmackDown. Raw gets Ilya Dragunov. And uh, he was very excited. And SmackDown got Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. Mm-hmm. So that was that. Okay, so the other stuff is uh, Raw got Dijak, the yes. Creeds, Ivy Nile, uh, Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne as a tag team moving over, Caden Carter and Katana Chance, who were already there, 
Natalia, who's already there, and Odyssey Jones. And SmackDown got Vinci, Tegan Knox, and Apollo Crews. So um, uh, Vinci and Knox moved over. I don't even know who Cruz was on. You know, he was he was on main event, it looked like, most of the time. So I guess that means he was probably on Raw. I don't know. Um, and, uh, yeah, so there were no um, whatever it's called. Oh, Lyra uh, got drafted as well. Right, 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 right. I didn't yeah. mention that on some list here. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, didn't, you didn't mention one of the rounds. I think um, I missed an entire round. Yeah, you missed the round, uh, round five. Um, so it was uh, New oh, yes. Day. New Day with, with Raw, staying with Raw, uh, pretty deadly staying with SmackDown, Lyra Valkyria being brought up, and it certainly appeared to me that she had no idea this was coming, which is weird. No, she didn't. None of the NXT women had any idea. Uh, yeah. She didn't have any idea. And actually, there was another round. Final Testament gets Raw, and uh, DIY gets SmackDown, well, gets to Candace, SmackDown. Candice and Indy going to SmackDown. Oh, and of course, DIY going, of course since uh, Johnny Gargano and Candice. As soon as they announced Candice going, then you knew that DIY was most likely going to SmackDown as well. Bronson Reed on Raw, and then Blair Davenport, who also had no earthly idea. She clearly had no idea. Yes. All of I, those. Had, I, I, had, I had no idea about her. I mean, Lyra Valkyrie was, I predicted her last week. Well, Blair, you did do that. That's true. Yes. Yeah. Well, she might not have listened to the show. Apparently not. Yeah. And, uh... Um, I mean, Lyra Valkyria, we pretty much all expected. Um, and, you know, the, uh, the Dragunov was the one that everyone expected as well. So um, um, I can't say any big surprises. There's not, like last year, there were a bunch of people who were listed as free agents. Um, and some of them, like like uh, Zion Quinn and Von Wagner, ended up never even Yeah, doing don't be anything. a free agent in the draft, dude. Yeah, yeah, but there weren't any this year. This year we've got rosters, and this is the rosters, and there you go. Um, I mean, it's essentially there's a few minor changes here and there that, you know, but it's uh, this was the least exciting draft ever, and uh, the rating for SmackDown was the lowest of the year, and usually the draft is, is, is up, and often significantly up from usual, and some of it was because the competition was ridiculously high this week. Um, on Friday night, I mean, you had the NFL draft, you had the NBA playoffs, you had the NHL playoffs. I mean, although they have the NBA and NHL playoffs pretty much every night for the next couple of weeks anyway, but um, but uh, you know, so it the tr people didn't know going in that it was going to be a nothing draft, but for whatever reason, the interest in the draft was not high. I think that that's probably because people know the draft doesn't mean shit. You know, I mean, it's like people are on the other brand every single week. You know, even though they say they're not, so it's kind of like, how's the draft? What does the draft really mean? You know, they move some undercard people who no one really, you know, I don't say no one cares about them, but they don't care that much about them. Um, they move them from one to another, and they're pretty much locked. I mean, it's like they rarely put undercard people on each show. Although Chelsea Green was on both shows, so and you know she's not pushed as a main eventer, not even even after. They didn't have the championship, so it could be, you know, you could do that. I mean, like, uh, so whatever it was, the um, the draft episode on SmackDown did not have a uh, a high level of interest as compared to um, previous draft episodes. Last year's was way higher than this year's, and on Raw, we'll see when the rating comes out, but uh, they had a real... I mean, they didn't have the NFL draft, but they had real tough competition with the NBA this uh, t tonight. So, um, you know, they're not they're not uh, they're not finishing number one. That's for sure. Tomorrow. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.